Hey guys, uh, so a couple quick things before I start reading. One, sorry it's been so long work and uh, life have been really uh, out there and just kind of all over the place. So yeah, yeah, um, I just got to recording or rather re-recording stuff. Um, second thing, and more importantly, the, um, the story that I'm about to continue read, uh, reading, because I'm continu continuing with Dear Abby, because, oh god, does this, does this thing get so weird and so creepy. But I do want to put a, um, minor trigger warning for, um, stalking and things like that because I know it's um I know this video starts to delve uh, more into that uh, or rather this letter starts to delve more into that and I'm gonna put um brain work with me here <laughs> uh, I'm going to put more <coughs> uh, sorry warnings uh, like that in the uh, starts of the other ones because it does get a lot worse and I mean a lot. So, uh, all right. Without further ado, Dear Abby, part three. Abby, hey, uh, it's uh, it's been a while. Uh, you still haven't gotten back to me. I, you know, I don't, I don't know why. Is it because you don't want to talk to me? I mean, can't be that, right? You you probably just didn't get the the uh, the other letters. Yeah, that's probably it. But um, you know, let me know either way, please. No, um, got fired from my job. Um, you know, a little bit um, a little bit after I took the tape, actually. Uh, got a call from my boss, the uh, the store owner at like six in the morning on Monday and I needed to come in immediately they were uh, they were having a mandatory staff meeting and uh, when I got there the entire staff was gathered around a small table with my boss the owner at the head well once everyone got there he uh, he let us know that apparently there had been a minor robbery uh, just, you know, about $200 worth of stuff taken, and the one tape that could have shown who it was, was the one I took, which is my luck in a nutshell. He told us that no one was going to leave the room until someone confessed, and after a few minutes, I finally gave in. Uh, I told him everything, you know, about... How I felt as if you and I had this connection, and after explaining the whole story, the entire room was staring wide-eyed at me. After I finished, I sat in silence for a few seconds. Um, the store owner broke the tension, said I was fired and to never come back. I mean, I did, as I was told, and you know, ran out as fast as I could. Guy was a prick out anyway. Treated me like shit. Uh, he was on my case ever since I started the job. I mean, he's probably just been waiting for me to do one little thing that could justify firing me, you know? And the one time, one time, I slip up. You know? Uh, I mean, it's just... I just wish he understood. Uh, he doesn't get that you and I are meant to be together. I mean, any rational man would have understood, you know, anyone put in my situation would have done that. Right? Anyway, I've, uh, I've been searching up on you a lot lately. With no job, I've had all the time in the world to spend learning about you. Oh, it's 
really easy to find out everything about someone with just a first name and a town of residence. Uh, scarily easy. Found out your last name is Moreau. So beautiful. Abby Moreau. I can't help but say it. I can't help but say it whenever I think about you. I also found out you're 24 and you only lived about a mile away from me. I drove to the apartment complex today and it's nice. Much nicer than where I live. I asked to see you multiple times, but you weren't home every time. I felt more discouraged every time, but I was determined to see you again. And after hours of asking, I decided to stay back in the parking lot, waiting for you to come back. And after many, many hours of waiting, you did. It was late at night, I think 10, give or take. Uh, I saw you pull up in your car and get out, and I just felt so warm seeing you again. And now I have the security camera tape to look at, but it doesn't compare to seeing the real you. I made sure to record it for later when I was home, Time much, this time with a much higher quality camera. I wanted to capture as much detail as possible. I, I didn't know the next time I'd see you and the security tape wasn't good enough anymore. I asked the woman at the front desk multiple times what your room number was, but she refused to tell me. She thought I was some sort of creep. See, this is what I mean, Abby. People just don't understand us. They don't understand what we feel for each other. I ended up waiting in the parking lot a little while until someone came out. And after talking for him for a little bit, you know, he told me what your apartment number was. He didn't want to talk at first, but uh, I could be per very persuasive. Especially when I hold a knife to someone's chest. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I didn't hurt him too bad, but... Oh, we can't have someone interfering with us. Can we, Abby? Oh, I'm so sick of all these people trying to keep us apart. I ended up watching you from the parking lot for a while. You know, once I found out what you're number was and how the complex was organized it wasn't too hard to find you should be more careful careful about shutting your blinds though you know, I was easily able to watch you from where I was I, I can't get you out of my head anymore all I do is watch that video I took over and over and over Abby I I want to be with you forever. Uh, I, I, I want to wake up in the morning to see you next to me in bed. And I can't wait until next time I see you again. Love, Jay.